Hey folks, Roland Martin here along with Captain Jimmy Wheeler. Hey Jimmy, way to go son. How we doing hey, brother? This is a revisited trip. We're back in the Everglades again. And I remember a couple years ago, Jimmy, you took, took us back to these tide creeks. We're way up the Everglades for snook, for tarpon, for redfish. What else, what are we gonna do? It's strictly snook and tarpon today. Uh, maybe a couple reds blow up, but we're gonna go all top water all day and get those good magical blow-ups. Wow, I tell you folks, this is a dream come true. Captain Jimmy has some places that are just so remote, so far away. I, I, I live here, I've li lived here for 25 years. I cannot find this spot. <laughs> this is way in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> We've come up a Tide Creek for about 15 miles and taken lefts and rights. And Okay, what do you recommend I, I do? Well, uh, grab you a swim bait to start off for one of them uh, small top waters. I I, small let's try that uh, homemade top water you made there. I got a little homemade deal. I got a little casting rod, and I'm just gonna first first cast on. There's some big snook in here too. Are there? Yeah. Big snook. Some of the biggest snook I've hooked in here. I'll put it right here. He'll eat that. He'll eat the blow. Oh, there we go. You got one. Oh, you got one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they got one. What you got, son? Nice talking. Oh, it is Nice talking. Way to go, son. Now, this alligator, the only problem is this alligator might want to get your bait. I'll wrestle him. Huh? I'll wrestle him. He's, he's, going, he's after. Look at the gator. Look, look, the gator's coming in. The gator's coming in after your fish. Oh, hell. He's gator coming in after your fish. Oh, heavens. Can you, can you get him in? Yeah. Look at that guy. <laughs> way to go, way to go, Captain he's, Jimmy! Oh the gator's right here. The gator's trying to get him. He's coming in. Now he's a little bit far away. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The gator's right there. I might need a little help on that one. You want to just, how are you going to release him? Just kind of... Yeah, I'll release him. Oh, that's a nice one, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, a little five, ten pound tarpon. That's the perfect size for topwater fish. Boy, what a, what a fight. Way, way, to, way to jump in there. I so love much it. fun. There's, there's nothing that, better that than that. That is such a cool fish. Yeah. Now, how old is a tarpon that size? Uh, probably three, four years old. Three or four years old. Yep. And they'll stay back inches, in, in, yeah. in these little creeks until they're, what, about 30 or 40 pounds? 30, 40 pounds. I've hooked one or two back here in the 100 plus class. But most of the time they're just the 30, From, yeah, no, 30, 30, 30 pounds 40 and they're getting out of here. Okay, okay. But yeah, about five, six inches a year and wow. they roll out. Isn't that cool, folks? I tell you, those are, fish, that's man. a beautiful fish. That's what it's all about. Little top water play, that's a good deal. Well, there you go, Mr. Jimmy. Captain Jimmy struck again. He's got the deal. <laughs> this is so much fun. I tell you, this is the best topwater fishing in the world. When these tarpon are biting, there's nothing any better than a tarpon strike. It is the most severe. I've fished peacock bass. I've fished largemouth bass. I've done all kind of stuff. But I'm telling you, folks, a tarpon, a 20 to 30 pound tarpon hitting a topwater plug, it's the ultimate. And going straight airborne. <laughs> That was a good fish. That was a good one. Come on, hit that thing again. Golly, they. That was a nice big, nice big blow up. Boy, they're hard. To, they're just hard to catch. These things are hard to catch. They're just not getting it good. Golly, they. Oh, oh, micro. Oh, oh huge! About a one pounder. That's gonna be a fish. That'll be pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh God, you're going crazy. We can't hook them. Just cast after cast and just, they're just killing us. I've had like 10 strikes and I haven't hooked one yet. Isn't this fun? This is fun stuff. 
This is hard to do sometimes. I guess I need a smaller plug. I have a bunch of different little plugs that I've built. Now here's a little bitty one. That's small. I'm gonna try this one. Because it's a little bitty plug. And maybe, maybe this other one's just too big. And so, I'm gonna cut this off. Oh, well, there we go. That's gonna be a blow up right in front of that gator. Oh boy. Oh, that one. Little bitty one. Let's see if they hit this little thing. He's getting it. That's the way to go. Where you hit right back in that thing? Yeah, go right in that cut. There you go. After Jimmy, they, they kind of quit on us. What happened? They're, they slow down, man. As soon as this tide starts drawing out a little hard, they're just moving right up tide. We're oh. going to go up to these uh, little grass flats and some more s fresh spill out. So we just have to follow the, follow, follow, follow the fish. Follow, follow the tide, okay. follow the fish. Okay, okay. Well, I'm ready. Okay. I tell you, Jimmy, this is some kind of a place. <laughs> I'd never find my way back without you tell me. Now, of course, I got GPS and that would help, but uh, I don't know. Oh, my cameraman lost his glasses. <laughs> this is big time. As long as we don't lose the cameraman, we'll be all right, Roland. Yeah, I know. We lost a couple before back here. It's the guys you find and you bring back here. <laughs> Oh, I tell you what. You know that last spot, though, it was amazing. I must have had a dozen tarpon strikes and just couldn't hook up on them. That's yeah. the problem about tarpon. Hard on. mouths and topwater baits. Watch your, uh, yep. This is an experience to come back into the true Everglades like we're in right now, the saltwater Everglades. Period. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh, that's a better fish. That was a good one. Was that a snook or a tarpon? There's one. I got one. I got one. I got one. Oh, good one. Good one, son. Good job, Roland. Good one. All right, I better step up my game. You're starting to. Oh, uh, yeah. Starting okay, to get this down here, Roland. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I'm not liking the way this thing's starting to turn. <laughs> Finally catching a couple after missing almost a million. <laughs> a little five pounders. A little bitty carbon. No, so, no, so. No, so. <laughs> Little bitty tarp. Trying to be easy as I something. can with them. That is something else. Little baby tarp. Heck with deal, son. Beautiful fish, Roland. It's just such a beautiful. He isn't but a couple pounds. And probably just a couple years old, too. Yep. Right? What a fun fish. Oh, yeah. Ooh, what you got, Jimmy? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, he's got the combination in it. This is so cool. This is so cool, Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You want me to get you it. one of them? Huh? Yeah. Yep. All right. I'm going to get you one of those. They're obviously. Oh! Hey, hey, hey. I need one. He just ate it. I know, I see that. Hey, here you go. Oh, look at that. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. He hit it. He's off. He hit it. He hit it. He hit it. There you there, go. There you go. Got one, son. Good <laughs> job, Roland. Good job, There we Roland. go. There we go. Oh! 
this is a barrel of fun. I tell you, the tarpon fish are good Everglades. You don't eat them. You, you just catch and release them anyhow. Most of the time they jump off, but what neat action. You just can't beat it. I'm telling you, it's just fantastic. Woo, son. I'm gonna try another, another little swim bait. I am gonna take a, a little, what I had on that last time, just show you what I had on. Are you kidding on me? On there, this right here. On this, uh, what I'm using, I'm using this little, it's a uh, little Yamamoto. It's a, it's what they call a Zeko. It's a Zeko, and what I'm doing, I'm, I'm using a screw-in hook. This is a Gamagatsu uh, setup, and I'm going to screw in the bait into a little screw eye, put it in like this and screw it down, like so. Nope, got to get it straight. Get it straight, screw it in position. Okay, now it's all screwed in. I'm now taking the, the key, little keel hook. It's just a small little little weight, and I'm going to come right in the back here, and come up to the top, and just kind of let it let the hook kind of angle out just a little bit. Okay, I got it. And watch this in the water. Look at look at this look at this action of this of the Zeko. Look at that. That swim bait is so cool. They really come after that thing. That's what it's all about. And I tried, I tried something different that time, Jimmy. What I did, I threw out there, and I swam it along. But then what I did was I let it sink. 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 And when I started it up again, he hit it. Stroke. I don't know. That's just kind of weird. Well, folks, we made it back safe. We're back to Jimmy's store, Everglades Fishing Company here in Everglades City. Look at that storm out there. It's really bad. It's a really good one. I'm glad we made it back. We had a great day. We only landed about eight or ten tarpon. They were small. We had at least a hundred to bite. It was just a fantastic. It was a bite all day. It was the visual action and the, yeah. and the jig fishing. It was just the best ever. Folks, if you want some really quality fishing, look up Captain Jimmy at the Everglades Fishing Company here in Everglades City. Hey, you'll have the trip of your life. And thanks again, Jim. Thank you, Roland. Really, really, really been a My pleasure. My pleasure, brother. Second time we've been down back in the area. It was just great. Thank Good you. Good time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.